Hello, my name is Paul Cummings. I'm the Director of Development for GeneX Solar. I help GeneX Solar develop solar projects in Indiana. That means finding locations for projects, signing land, and working through the permits. After that, we work with partners to develop, to finish out development and build, own, and operate these projects. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about the different phases of solar construction. I started out 15 years ago looking at digesters on farms, worked in wind, landfill gas, and now I focus on solar. Let's talk about the different parts of the construction of the solar farm. The construction begins when the site is identified and the land is then signed up. Once we've identified all the land, the engineers will look at where the different setbacks within that land and where they can place panels. The engineering really kicks off with the site survey. The site survey will delineate all the boundaries of parcels. It will identify all the features on the ground and import, very importantly, it will identify the topography of the site. Once the survey is complete and the design is complete, then it's time to begin construction. This starts with the marking of the locations for the posts. The posts are actually galvanized I-beams that are driven into the ground at least eight feet and stick out of the ground four to six feet. Once the locations are marked and the posts are delivered to site, they can then be laid out in their north to south rows spaced apart appropriately. A pile driving machine comes along and drives the posts into the ground. Once all the posts have been erected within an area, the torque tubes are bolted on top of the posts. The torque tubes run north and south along the rows and they're horizontal to the ground and usually off the ground four to six feet. These provide the structure to which the panels will be mounted. The panels are placed in a portrait fashion on top of the torque tubes. Every manufacturer varies, but there's some form of mounting bracket that has one or a few bolts that are tightened to tighten the panels down to the torque tube. There are hundreds of thousands of panels within a solar farm, uh, a utility scale solar farm. The bulk of the work is in the racking system and mounting the panels. Once the panels are mounted, wiremen come back and wire the panels together. Usually somewhere around 26 modules are wired in series, although that can vary up or down a couple modules to get to the appropriate voltage. There can be two to four strings per row and those strings are wired in parallel and taken back to the inverters as direct current. Modern inverters range in size from two megawatts up to four megawatts or so, depending on the manufacturer. So a 200 megawatt solar farm would need 50 to 100 inverters placed throughout the solar farm. The direct current wiring is brought to these inverters and wired into them. From there, the inverter does its magic and creates alternating current from that direct current. Alternating current is what we use in our homes. The alternating current is then brought from the inverters back to the central substation, which usually is built, uh, starts at the very beginning of the project is a separate project um, in itself. The transformer takes the medium voltage from the inverters and converts it into high voltage of the transmission line. Once the project is complete, there is a QAQC program, so quality assurance, quality control. There's hundreds of thousands of connections that are made within the project, and these need to be good and tight to manufacturer specifications. Technicians will check and make sure that these meet the specifications. In addition, there's electrical and communications systems throughout the project that need to be checked to make sure that they're operating appropriately. Once the site passes the tests of the QAQC, it is then free to begin operations. At that point, the construction contract is closed out and the operations contract begins. I hope this helps give a high level overview of a complicated topic that is solar project construction. Thanks for taking the time to be with us today. And if you have more questions, visit the Center for Energy Education website below. Thank you.